same thing with the court. The court, uh, usually we anticipate 100, well, we anticipated 122,000 and we are at about, uh, I'm, I'm projecting that we'll end the year at about 44,000. So with, with these numbers in mind, this has a direct impact for next year's budget um, and also for the fact that we're just not collecting our revenues. So uh, the state has actually put in place um, some new legislation that allows you to declare a special emergency. And what you can do is you can spread this revenue loss to future year's budgets. So tonight there's a few things on the agenda that, uh, that will cover that. There's a very tight deadline. So the deadline to be able to do this would be December 1st. So I need to submit to the state for approval um, this special emergency application explaining to them um, exactly what are what revenues we usually generate and what we're looking at to what we're projecting to generate this year to show them that loss so then what they'll allow you to do is still almost show that you you did receive those revenues so i'm looking to um i'm looking i'm looking at a three hundred thousand dollars special emergency revenue um emergency appropriation so that we could then um we can then rely on that three hundred thousand dollars next year in our fund balance but we don't have to actually raise it next year. We can spread it over five years and subsequent years budget starting in 2022. So um, I believe everybody saw my spreadsheets. I had kind of done like a quick analysis of the revenues. Also um, just a statement of operations projecting out and projecting out what, what we have right now. Um, and I, I was very conservative with my, with my projections. I'm showing that we'll be a little under $2.2 million in fund balance. Now, last year we were at 2.9, so that kind of shows you that revenue loss. Um, and also with the 2.9 in fund balance from last year, we anticipated 2.2 2 .2 in this year's budget. So if we went with around the same same line of thinking with this with 2021's budget, with um, with only 2.2 million dollars in fund balance, we can't use all of that in the budget. So this will allow us to actually. Um, this will allow us to roll more into fund balance and just raise it in subsequent years budgets. So instead of, instead of ending at 2.2, we would end up, end up at 2.5. And then we could still anticipate 2.2 in the budget and have a little bit of a balance left in our fund balance and just, you know, really work hard on, you know, projections and budgeting so that we can, we can then get back to where we were at one point.